Would the movie Grease still be a classic without Olivia Newton-John playing the lovable Sandy? Well, it nearly happened. This is the untold truth of Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992. After a period of remission, the star revealed that the cancer had returned in 2017. Newton-John was very transparent about her breast cancer diagnosis over the years. It seemed that no matter how difficult the actor's journey became, she never stopped making an effort to help other cancer patients. In fact, she started the Olivia Newton-John Foundation with the goal of funding research for plant medicine as a cancer treatment. The Grace actor also contributed to the cause by helping to fund a cancer wellness and research center in Australia. The facility is now named after the star. Newton-John appeared to live life to the fullest, despite her cancer diagnosis. In 2020, the Twist of Fate singer spoke to The Guardian about how she managed to remain so optimistic, saying of her diagnosis, I don't know what I would be without it now. I see it as my life's journey. It gave me purpose and intention and taught me a lot about compassion. It has been a gift. I don't wish it on anyone else, but for me, it's been important in my life. She also spoke about learning to navigate life day by day, telling the outlet, Listen, I think every day is a blessing. You never know when your time is over. We all have a finite amount of time on this planet, and we just need to be grateful for that. Following her long battle with breast cancer, Newton-John died on August 8, 2022. She was 73. Olivia Newton-John shared a close bond with her daughter, Chloe Rose Latanzi, and their relationship was well documented over the years. After Newton-John's passing, Latanzi shared a series of photos to Instagram that proved she and her mother were inseparable. The pictures included moments from Latanzi's childhood as well as her own career in entertainment. That's right, the actor and musician is following in her famous mother's footsteps. Latanzi actually began her acting career alongside Newton-John in the 1994 movie A Christmas Romance. Fittingly, Latanzi played the daughter of her mother's character in the film. Back in 2000, Newton-John spoke to people about sharing the screen with her young daughter, telling the outlet, It was tough because she was learning this is not a game. It's hard work and the hours are long. Newton-John also played an important role in Latanzi's music career. The actor collaborated with her daughter on two songs, including You Have to Believe in 2016 and Window in the Wall in 2021. You Have to Believe was likely especially sentimental to the mother-daughter duo because it was a reworked version of Newton-John's song, Magic, from the soundtrack of her movie, Xanadu. It's hard to imagine that any actor besides Olivia Newton-John could have taken on the role of Sandy in Greece, but it turns out that the star almost wasn't our Sandy. The actor revealed that she nearly turned down the role during a 40th anniversary screening of Grease, hosted by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in 2018. Newton-John explained during a Q&A session at the event, I really wasn't sure I wanted to do the movie because I'd made a movie before in England, which was a musical, and it didn't work. The actor went on to reveal that her co-star and longtime pal John Travolta helped convince her. Newton-John went on to add, Then they sent John to meet me, and who could say no, right? This gorgeous guy walks up my driveway, these bright blue eyes, and he was so sweet and melted me, and he talked about it. Newton-John was also fearful to take on the role because of her age, as Sandy, of course, was only a high school student. Newton-John told the crowd, I said, but I'm 29 years old. How can I be 18? <laughs> Newton-John went on to add, I look back, I can't believe I was thinking that, but anyway, it's all relative, right, girls? Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta's chemistry was undeniable, so Grace fans were likely disappointed to find out that the co-star's on-camera romance never resulted in a real-life relationship. As previously mentioned, the pair were there for each other from the beginning, even after the camera stopped rolling. They clearly cared for each other, so why didn't they date? Newton-John offered an explanation on an episode of Mamma Mia's No Filter podcast decades later. We were both with other people when we were filming, and I think respectfully we just didn't happen. I think it was good, because I think it kept the tension there and the chemistry. It might have been a real disaster had we decided to date, but we're still great friends. For his part, Travolta revealed how he felt about his co-star during a joint Q&A in 2019, where he confirmed that there was in fact sexual tension between him and Newton-John on set. So, it sounds like the co-stars just met at the wrong time. Olivia Newton-John's relationship with ex-boyfriend Patrick McDermott took a bizarre and saddening twist in June 2005 
When McDermott vanished while on a fishing trip with friends, the couple had been together for nine years and split just before McDermott left for his trip. Authorities searched for McDermott along the California coast where he was last seen, but it was ultimately concluded that he had drowned. As you can imagine, it's an incredibly hard thing to go through. However, this story got even stranger when reports speculated a few years later that McDermott faked his death to escape debts of over $30,000, which included thousands in child support payments. According to a report by the New York Post, private investigators allegedly found McDermott alive in a small village in Mexico in 2009. It was even claimed that McDermott sent investigators voice recordings to prove he was alive. This was allegedly part of an arrangement where investigators agreed to leave McDermott alone if he confirmed he was still living. Years after McDermott's disappearance, Newton John revealed to Australian Women's Weekly magazine that she was still grieving the loss. The actress told the outlet, I think there will always be a question mark. I don't think I will ever really be at peace with it. Like many of Hollywood's biggest stars, Olivia Newton-John kicked off her career in entertainment as a child. She began exploring her potential to become a musician as a teen, but only after moving on from her dream of becoming a veterinarian. The star told Interview Magazine in 2011, When I was a young girl, I was so crazy about animals that I wanted to do something associated with them. And I thought of being a vet, but then again, I figured I had to go to medical school and science wasn't a good subject for me, so I dropped the idea pretty soon. When the star realized she couldn't be a veterinarian, singing was her next choice. Newton John joined a singing group with three other girls at only 14 years old. Recalling the group in her 2019 book Don't Stop Believin', Newton John recalled, they were sweet girls who lived to sing, like me, so we started a singing group that we called the Soul Four. Our wardrobes consisted of denim jeans, hessian jackets, and black turtlenecks. After exploring her talents in Soul 4, a 15-year-old Olivia Newton-John tried her luck on a talent competition show. This landed her several acting gigs. Grease ignited Olivia Newton-John's friendship with John Travolta in the 70s, and the pair remained close through the decades. In 2019, Travolta spoke to Us Weekly about keeping in touch with his former co-star over the years. We were together not that long ago, about three months ago, and we text each other all the time. If I go to see her personally, we usually have dinner and catch up. And recently, we've been talking about trying to do something together. In 2021, Newton John gushed to Us Weekly about Travolta's ongoing support. Calling him a lovely, sweet man, she explained to the outlet that the Saturday Night Fever star made sure she was comfortable on the set of Grease. He even purposely ruined a tape to give her the opportunity to reshoot a scene. Travolta was one of the many celebrities who shared a tribute following Newton John's death, and his message was one of the most touching due to their close bond. Travolta wrote on Instagram, My dearest Olivia, you made all of our lives so much better. Your impact was incredible. I love you so much. We will see you down the road and we will all be together again. Yours from the first moment I saw you and forever. Your Danny, your John. Olivia Newton-John's music arguably defined the 70s and 80s. Her many hits earned her four Grammy Awards and 12 nominations, among other accolades. One of the star's most notable songs, Physical, dominated the charts for weeks and solidified her as a pop icon. But music was more than a cash grab to Newton-John. It was therapeutic for her. The star told WBTV in 2017, I've gone through as everybody has. I'm sure everybody watching has gone through loss and grief. The star went on to add, I've always found my way of healing is with music. This may be the reason why the actor continued to tour and release music up until her last years. In 2016, Newton John released an album to help those experiencing grief titled Live On. Speaking about the project, on which she collaborated with friends Amy Skye and Beth Nielsen Chapman, during an interview with Digital Journal, the star said, I had lost my sister, and I invited them to join me as a trio so that we could write this album to help people through grief and to live on. Newton-John went on to share that she was motivated to create the album because of how healing it would be. Music has a way of healing and connecting people, and it was a really powerful experience. I'm very excited about this record for the future to help people.